I did, but I appreciate what Mr. Woods did. That was certainly appropriate, sir. Thank you. Gordon Kerner, Eckhart Drive, Joppa. Uh, I've been following council meetings in Pennsylvania, in Indiana, Virginia, and now here. I've attended some knowledge conference in Virginia. I was very active in Virginia, and I did seek a seat on the council. Mr. Slutsky, I must disagree with you. After that meeting last week, that Hartford County Council has lots of power. You have given too, a little too much to the county executive, but you do have a lot of power. Uh, last week, I saw a good government at work. When two members talked about the towers, it was easy to tell much com compromising was done in the background. And then I saw in public that they displayed how they talked about it in background and how they came to a compromise. That is what I call good government. In October, I heard questionable government. At two different meetings with the zoning, I heard a member say he lived two blocks from the property in question. He and his family know the people applying for the permit. They were good people and the application should be approved. Nothing is wrong with that, except that this, the person involved should have abstained from voting, and they did not. They voted on something that is a conflict of interest. Moving to the paralysis plan, the entire issue is about approval between the grant to the MDE, MDE in C1 zoning where it should have been G1 zoning. I, uh, this will probably be the last time I talk to you, gentlemen, because I think it's uh, not going anywhere. But what I will, what I will continue doing, is writing my letters to MDE. I've sent letters to MDE. Or in, uh, let's see, got the ketchup. Uh, November. I mean, in September the fifth, I. I attended the informal meeting. On September 12th, I wrote to Matt Hafner. And on September 19th, I wrote to Matt Hafner. Matt Hafner answered me back on October the 2nd. And he told me then the project was on hold because Austin and Keith did not respond to questions that myself and a bunch of other people that wrote MDE. I wrote again a couple times to Mr. Hafner, and on November 17th, he answered back that the project is still on hold. For over 50 days now, the project is on hold because Austin and Keith will not, have not applied to the questions that the environmental people have asked them. If you can, start to bring you to a conclusion, sir. Yeah. It seems to be a long time, and uh, let's see. Hope you follow up on what I just told you, and maybe you can talk, get some something going there or end the, end the whole thing. Thank you. Thank you, sir.